Sagittal band injury. The sagittal bands are the primary stabilizers of the extensor tendons. The sagittal band is a transversely oriented ligament that helps to centralize and destabilize the extensor tendon during joint motion. Sagittal band rupture can lead to dislocation or subluxation of the extensor tendon. It may be caused by trauma or by rheumatoid arthritis. Tear of the sagittal band of the knuckle is often referred to as boxer's knuckle. There are really three types of this injury. Type 1 without extensor tendon instability, type 2 with tendon subluxation, type 3 with tendon dislocation. Clinical findings of sagittal band injury. After the patient sustains a striking injury, the patient usually complains of pain and the swelling over the metacarbopharyngeal joint, usually the MCP joint of the middle finger. Snapping and subluxation of the tendon is noticed at the top of the knuckle when moving from extension to flexion. The middle finger is affected in about 48% of the time, and the little finger is affected in about 31% of the time. Examination may reveal that active extension of the joint may be accompanied by ulnar deviation of the tendon. That can occur because the radial sagittal band is injured. The radial side sagittal band is usually more commonly involved about 9 to 1, then the ulnar side with ulnar subluxation of the extensor tendon. The typical scenario is that the patient is unable to actively extend the finger from a fully flexed position, but the finger can be maintained in place once it is passively extended. Why are we getting this clinical picture? Because during the metacarbopharyngeal flexion, the extensor digitorum communis tendon will sublux in a direction opposite to the sagittal band injury. If the tendon lies volar to the joint axis, it will then act as a flexor moment. If you passively extend that finger, then the intact extensor tendon can actively maintain this position of extension. Patients with rheumatoid arthritis could have the same clinical scenario. Usually the patient will have pain, swelling, and some resection of motion of the MCP joint of the middle or the ring finger. You will find that when the MCP joint is held in flexion, the patient is unable to actively extend the MCP joint. But when the finger is passively extended, the patient can then hold the finger in active extension. This patient will need extensor hood or sagittal band reconstruction. Differential diagnosis of sagittal band injury extensor digitorum communis rupture and trigger finger. The condition of sagittal band injury can give you triggering. This is not a condition of trigger finger. You're going to have to diagnose this condition because you will avoid surgery of trigger finger release because the snapping occurs from subluxation and relocation of the extensor tendon. The x-rays are usually negative. Initially, the treatment is usually non-surgical treatment. You're going to have activity modification for the patient, anti-inflammatory medication, and metacarbophalangeal joint extension brace. This conservative treatment could be tried in acute cases. Acute injury can be treated by a splint, or surgery is done in acute cases that are severe and in chronic cases. 
Chronic injury could benefit from surgical reconstruction. Sagittal band injury seen within three weeks of injury, the treatment is usually conservative with extension splint. And you can see here, this is an example of the splint can be used. So if the conservative treatment fails, then repair or reconstruction of the sagittal band and the extensor hood is indicated. If the patient is a professional athlete and has a sagittal band injury, in this case, acute repair of the sagittal band may be indicated. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.